Hey y'all, welcome to Kamira's Kitchen. Today I'm showing you how to make the best, mm-hmm, the best chicken and dressings. Now if you start making this, I'm telling you, you ain't gonna be asked to make nothing else at the family dinner and the potlucks, so you better decide now if you wanna have that responsibility because this chicken and dressing is delicious. Now I'm gonna start out by heating up my cast iron skillet with some shortening and we just gonna, you know, we just gonna work with Sister Martha today, okay? We're gonna follow the package instructions for three of these um, buttermilk cornbread packages but I am going to add two eggs and I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of canola oil and I'm using milk instead of water now I am putting in three of my cornbread packages and I have two cups of milk that I'm using now I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all right now you better not use sweet cornbread now y'all know I love me some jiffy but it don't work for chicken and cornbread dressing okay I add eggs to this because I feel like it just gives it a better texture and then I'm going to throw in my oil and my milk. Now when you mix this up, I know you're going to think, baby, this this loose. I ain't do something right. Okay, it's supposed to be loose. Okay, this is the way it is. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all right now, if you're thinking about making this cornbread just to eat as a side, don't do it. Don't even do it. It ain't even taste good like that. Okay, I'm going to just tell y'all that right now. All right. But... It was perfect for this cornbread chicken and dressing recipe. Now I just baked it according to the package instructions. As you can see, I tasted it. That's that's how I know it won't it won't hit like that. Now you can make this cornbread the night before or even a few days in advance. Break it up and just let it dry out a little bit and get stale. That's the best thing to do. I let mine sit out for about an hour and a half while I was preparing my chicken um, for this recipe. Now I have four chicken leg quarters that equals about four pounds and into this i'm adding two stalks of celery two carrots one onion i've chopped up i left the skin on it's fine i also am putting in four cloves of garlic and i have left the skin on that as well i'll just pick that out when we strain everything but the skin will add flavor i'm going to then add two bay leaves and half of a teaspoon of peppercorns whole i'm also going to put in a bouillon cube and I'm going to put in enough water just to cover up the chicken and the vegetables. I'm then going to use two tablespoons of better than bouillon. This stuff is going to make your broth taste amazing. If you have not tried this, like I don't know what you are doing, okay? Cuz I've been I've been touting this for a while. This chicken seasoning, about a half a tablespoon in here is delicious. And I'm also putting in about half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning, but you could also just use sage if you don't like all the extra, but I love it, okay? I'm a teaspoon of salt, and then I'm going to boil this covered for about one hour. This is gonna ensure that the chicken will fall off of the bone. You wanna have this at a simmer, don't have this going too strong. Now, after one hour, your chicken is going to be tender, but I want that broth to reduce because I want the flavor to concentrate. So let it boil kind of on high, uncovered for about 30 minutes, and then you're going to see that your broth is going to reduce and become kind of thick. I don't boil it uncovered from the beginning because I find that it will reduce too quickly and your chicken won't get tender. So at this point, there's really only about three and a half cups of broth left. So it's reduced quite a bit. Now, this broth... This broth is delicious. I'm telling you right now, this is where most of the flavor for your dressing is going to come from. I'm going to then saute half of an onion and two more stalks of celery and about three tablespoons of butter. Just saute them, you know, about two, three minutes, you know, nothing too serious. And near the end, I'm going to put in about half of a teaspoon of more poultry seasoning into the mix. I'm going to, the flavors are just going to bloom and become very strong by sauteing in that butter. Once this is done, I'm just going to cut off the heat and then I'm going to pick apart the chicken. Now you see my bowl a little dirty because I, I picked apart the chicken in that bowl. Okay, that, that's why it is and I won't go wash it again. Okay, <laughs> flavor was up in there. I'm going to add in a can of cream of onion. This is so good in this. Mm, cream of onion, but you could use cream of celery. And I'm also going to put in a can of cream of chicken. I feel like these are chicken and dressing staples that we all know. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm then going to put in my sauteed veggies, and I'm going to begin to mix this together. I'm going to go ahead in and add a little bit of broth. Now, the thing with the broth is this. It really, how much you add really depends on how much cornbread you've made 
and also what texture you're going for. So I'm gonna tell you that I used in total about three and a half cups of broth. So I used all the broth because of how much I reduced it. However, you have to base it on what the texture of your cornbread dressing comes like. So I'm gonna show you guys that. You're gonna see me add a little bit of broth at a time until I get a texture. Now you may think that it's gonna be too loose, but I promise you, if you do it the way I'm showing you, and you get the texture that I get, it's gonna come out delicious. Now, if you have already been enjoying this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and also subscribe because I post videos every single week, baby. Mm -hmm. And the people that have been making my recipes can tell you, honey, I can throw down. And if you follow in these recipes, baby, you gonna be able to throw down, amen. And that's what we want, okay? Now, I'm going to go in with a teaspoon of white pepper and also a teaspoon more of that chicken seasoning. And at this point, the texture of my cornbread dressing was perfection, okay? Do you see this? This is what you're looking for. This is what you came for. Mm -hmm. Now, go ahead and add in two eggs that you have beat up. I like to add raw eggs because I feel like it just binds and sets everything perfectly. So I'm gonna mix those in. At this point, I have already had my chicken picked to the side, but I also like to just take those celery pieces and I break those up. I'll also leave in the onion pieces. Of course, I'll take out the skins and I'll also pop those garlics out of the skin and I'll just put all that in there. Now, I don't add the carrots. I'll eat those They're like a little snack, but these other veggies will just add lots of flavor. I left the celery somewhat big because they're very, very soft, but of course you could chop them smaller but I can tell you this, if you don't pick them bones and them collards and that chicken skin out, oh, you will be talked about. Mm -hmm. So you better make sure you get all of that out, baby. Mm -hmm. So now at this point, I have greased up my cast iron skillet and I am going to add in my dressing. I've had my oven preheating at 375 degrees. I'm gonna cook this dressing for 45 minutes to one hour. You just gotta watch it until your top is golden brown and it's nice and set. Now you can do this in those aluminum foil pans, but you're just not going to get those crispy edges you would get from a cast iron skillet. But if you're making this from a crowd, honey, you know what? It ain't gonna matter. It ain't even gonna matter. You know what I'm saying? Make it easy on you, easy clean up. You know what it is, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven. Mm -mm -mm. And after one hour, mine was ready. Baby, do you see that golden crust? Honey, do you see what we're working with? Okay, I'm gonna go in and show y'all the inside. This cornbread is moist. It is delicious. It's gonna be perfect paired up with my turkey and gravy recipe. You would love it that way. Add in some mac and cheese, some candy yams, soul food dinner on a thousand, amen. Let me know if you're going to make this. Remember, I love you and Jesus loves you. God bless you all. And I'm going to see you next time in Kamara's Kitchen. I know it. Goodbye.